this afternoon in my class with the aid of two Guildhall timpani students. Um, I, I uh, basically got, got them to play repertoire by Beethoven and by Wagner. We, we tried to take take the extremes of the the, the, the palette of sound that, that they were managing managing to get out of the timps. We did just try to push the boundaries and and get them to really get into the extremes of the of the, the sound world that they were were able to pull out of these these German timpani. The residency of the Leipzig Gewandhaus Orchestra at the Barbican is a very important partnership for us at the Guildhall School. It's very important that when a big orchestra as distinguished as the Leipzig Orchestra comes here, then our students not only get to go to the concerts and be inspired by the, the magnificence of their playing, but also get to learn from some of the, some of the players in the orchestra. They get a, another, maybe fresh perspective, which complements everything that they learn at the Guildhall with their principal study professors and coaches in chamber music and orchestra. What, what they get from it is invaluable because they can get an insight into how other successful musicians think about music, how they do things, and it takes them away with maybe some more information, some more insights, some more questions, which they can take back to their teachers. You've got so much control over the, um, the, the way the brass play when they come in after your your sort of three or four bars of solo. The quieter and the more secretive you've played your solo, they really do subconsciously listen, and, and then the, the brass play far warmer and, and more, more, more distant. It's, it's, it's wonderful, you've got incredible power. Today I've learned about thinking about a different type of sound, and um, also going with that to play in the Barbican, much different, obviously, the tiny box room I'm used to practicing in, so it's good to not only do the drums themselves sound totally different to what I'm used to, but then playing in a hall. When you start playing the, this bell theme, the fiddles, are just scrubbing away as loudly as they can. The brass are holding their very thick chord, the, the winds as well. It's full tutti. Everyone's just playing a huge chord. It's got to be far, far bigger. I'll, I'll, I'll play it once. Now, I'm not exaggerating, but it ha does have to be at this, this volume, OK? <laughs> I was looking at or studying the Beethoven Ninth Symphony, so just the first and fourth movements, um, and we just looked at select parts of those, um, generally the harder parts, <laughs> um, and uh, just looked at how to play them on and the different style of timps and in the, well also a different way around from the way I'm used to because the timps are the other way around from high to low, um, and just how to fill a hall with sound because you need much more sound than in a small practice room. Um, I think the masterclasses are essential, especially for students of colleges and stuff like that. Um, it gives you a really invaluable insight into what's actually going on in the mind of a proper professional and how it works and how it works in their orchestra. And I think they're invaluable, I really do.